Good. Uh, Mike, welcome to What's Chris up, brother? Montes. How are you? Good, good. good. How are you doing? Good, how about you? Great. I want to take a look, take a tour at Chris Motors, the best showroom in the world. So yeah, in the front, we have quite a good collection of limited, rare and uh, exclusive cars. Uh, for example, we can start off with the Lamborghini Veneno. It's the only one in the world with a fully exposed carbon body. Originally, there are nine of them, and this is the only one with a fully exposed carbon, so which makes it the most unique car in the world. And right next to it, we have the new era of uh, Lamborghini, the Lamborghini Sia, the first ever hybrid vehicle from Lamborghini, and the most powerful road-going car at the moment. So this is a one of 63, and each one of them are uniquely specced, so you can't see the same color as another one in Sian. And then right next to it, we have the P1 GTR, which is road legal, converted by Lanzante. And more than half of the P1 GTRs were converted by them. And this is one of them. And it's a rare car as well, with you can see the red carbon and all this stuff. It's a very fun car. Not too comfortable, but you know, a great car. Not road. too comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, and then we have the Porsche 918 Spider, which is one of 982 pieces only ever made. You know, this is the Holy Trinity, back from 2015, so you have the LaFerrari 918 and the P1. And then we have a big lineup of uh, exclusive Ferraris, the big five. So right here you have the F50, one of 350 of them. And then you have the Ferrari Enzo, one of 399. And then if you go next to it, we have four La Ferrari, two La Ferrari Apertas, and two La Ferrari Coupe. So this is a big five. And then also you can see the father of all of them, the Ferrari 288 GTO. Father of all of them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> What is After that? that, we have this Bentley Bentayga V8 Mansuri, made by Mansuri, so it's like a three-ton. You have the forged carbon with black paint faded into yellow, so this is the only one in the world by Mansuri, upgraded by Mansuri, body kit by Mansuri, and tuned by Mansuri, including the interior, so it's a very special car. see the you know, full loads of carbon fiber, forged carbon, not the regular one, it's not the forged carbon, but the good one to the interior as well. And if you also take a closer look, you can see the Versace design, you know. And also mention one of one Montsuri but the same. Wow. So following the lineup again have uh, exclusive Ferrari so these are the Ferrari 599 GTO one of 599 pieces we have four unique colors triple layer yellow Ghibli blue and the classic red also the Tour de France all of them are limited all of them are the 599 GTO one of 599 also shares the similar engine with the Enzo so you know this is also a very exclusive car with a similar engine and all this stuff. Next to that we have the Ferrari F12 TDF, one of 799. And the most interesting thing is on this one is the color. It's called the Rosso Dino. It's a very special color, unique. It's like one of one. So the color is named after the loud son of Enzo Ferrari. So that's why the name Rosso Dino, he likes more orange. And uh, right next to that, we have the Atelier 488 Pista Spider with a special color, painted shields, gold rims. So it's an exclusive car as well, limited production. And uh, right now, you know, since we are going to the era of uh, hybrid and electric, these are something to be appreciated and uh, respected. And next to that, we have another 488 Pista with the uh, launch spec so this is the launch spec of the car also limited and exclusive and then next to that we have the future the new era the ferrari roma 
which also shares a similar engine like the Corrigate Pista and F8 Spiders, F8. So with the new digital interior and all this stuff. And next to that, we have a little hardcore version, I would say, the 488 Challenge, which is mainly for track. And you know Ferrari doesn't go small with racing. They are made for racing, so you know, they, they went along with the 488 and a competing car. Right next to it, we have the Porsche, which is also a club racing car. It's the GT2 RS Club Sport, limited to only 200 pieces in the world. And, you know, we parked it next to each other, so they go face to face. And next to that, we have the GT3 Touring, one of the iconic cars as well, with a manual shift. And, uh, you know, this, especially this model, the 2018 version was uh, loved by everyone and especially when they came out with the manual stick you know people got even more crazier with it and next to that we have 765 LT Spider, which is also limited to only 765 pieces in the world so this is also with a unique spec brand new car beautiful design and uh, extremely competing they're actually comparing this with the SF90 and next to that we have 765 LT Coupe, which is also limited to 765 pieces only. And uh, next to that we have something interesting, it's a 720S with a body kit and exhaust done by Monsoon. Behind you we have a couple of SUVs, which is uh, very popular in the Middle East region like the G63 and uh, we have a couple of them in different colors and different specs because you know G63 is something a compulsory car to have when you're in the Middle East and after that you know when you go one step ahead for luxury you have the most beloved Rolls-Royce Collinan black badge with uh, fully loaded VIP seats and technical carbon on the interior. Most of them are four-seaters with uh, exclusive uh, specs with Nardo Gray and Orange. And we have some in the back with uh, Black and Tiffany Blue. And this one is a silver badge. So this is, you see all those chrome parts. And then on the black badge, which is the difference is you have black chrome parts with different wheels and technical carbon on the inside and also there's a slight difference in the horsepower like around 30 horsepower difference between the silver badge and the black badge next to that we have this beauty Lamborghini Urus Mansuri again with loads of forged carbon you can see the splitters the lower gills and the bonnet with orange linings on them this car is a beast. So regular Urus, which comes with a 640 horsepower, has been tuned and added the body kit with 820 horsepower now. It is a beast. It is. It looks very, very aggressive. And you can also see the linings, the aerodynamic rings on the wheels, which, you know, when you're driving it around in the night, it looks like it's on fire. <laughs> so. And after that, we have something interesting for you, the Lamborghini 400 GT 2 Plus 2. Why this is interesting is, the Lamborghini company started back in 1963. This model is from 1966. It is one of the first production cars which came out. The actual one is 350 GT, which is a two-seater coupe. And after that, later on came the 400 GT with a 2 Plus 2 seating. So it has the iconic V12, 4.9 liter V12, and uh, this is a very, very special car, which was also a coach building together with the uh, Super Legera back in those days, which was the fight where the Ferrari and Lamborghini started. And uh, after that, we have another future, the Huracan STO, the track version of the regular Huracan, with 640 horsepower as well, but everything goes back to the rear wheels and uh, it's more aerodynamically efficient with air scoops and you can see the bonnet side wheels the spoilers in the back 
this is more of a tracker. And also, next to that, we have a Batmobile. I would Batmobile. Say, yeah, the Lamborghini Murcielago SV, which is limited to only 186 pieces, which they initially planned to make 350 of them, but they only made 186 due to the financial crisis back in those days. And what's more interesting on this car is it's without the wing. So usually all the Murcielago SV comes with the wing, factory fitted wing, but there was also an option, which not a lot of people know, without the wing, which they call it the ducktail version. What it does is it uh, gives you an extra four to five kilometers per hour top speed compared to the regular one. And uh, next to these, we have the future of Rolls Royce, the new Rolls Royce Ghost updated version. It's a 2021, and next to that we have the end of production 2022, which uh, Rolls Royce Dawn, uh, sorry, Rolls Royce Red Black Batch. So what it is, why it's special is, you know, they're gonna be ending this production soon and coming up with an all electric version, which you must have heard of, the Rolls Royce Spectre. So they're gonna be shutting down this line of uh, model. So now it's a very good time to collect these V12 beasts, you know, it's, it's a good time for these cars, especially like Black Badge and all this stuff. And then we have Rolls Royce Dawn, a similar version, but soft top convertible, which also will be stopped in production with coming up with the whole new electric versions. And next to that, we have a special Dawn. It is a Rolls Royce Dawn, Black Badge, but only three in the world. Why? because it's a Novitech with a white body kit and interior done by Novitech. There's only three ever done, built by them, and all three of them are only sold by First Motors. This is called the Spofec Overdose Body Kit, specially made for Rolls Royce by Novitech. And so, you know, we also have a coffee shop for people to when the clients visit us to chill and make their decisions while they make their decisions you know you gotta make it harder so we have quite a view next to them like the Ford GT which is also a limited ones so this one especially is a carbon series only one of 50 ever made it's a special cars as well and this one right next to it is called the studio collection which is only 20 in the world so two limited spec cars from Ford and uh, more interestingly the best part is this the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 plus it's a one of 30 in the world but one, it's of one of 30 and you have two yes we have two of them especially special car and also this is the one which did the world record back in those days with uh, 491 kilometers per hour as the top speed so after the wear on super sport this was the upgraded version the Chiron super sport the new lineup and uh, this is one of 30 as I said and then we have the Chiron sport over there 110 anniversary one of 20 and then we have the startup the regular Chiron and then we have the Chiron Sport again, but this is also one of 20. It's called the Les Legends du Seal, which is a tribute to the aviation industry for the French. So this is also one of 20 with special color, special uh, grill in the front, and all these. And then we have an art piece here. I think you are well aware of that, Pagani. <laughs> yes. So Pagani wear a roadster, a limited version as well. AMG engine looks beautiful, sounds beautiful. It's it's a work of art. And then next to that we have McLaren P1, which you know again goes back to the Holy Trinity back in 2015 when they launched three companies: major launch Porsche 918, Ferrari LaFerrari, and McLaren P1. So this is also a limited spec car, crazy looking car. It's a beast on the track. Beautiful color. And behind you, we have quite a lineup again. We have the McLaren Speed Tail, a tribute to the McLaren F1. Only 106 were ever built with three seats, 
sitting from the middle driving position and beautiful looking car it's something especially for the future it looks futuristic very futuristic and even if you see the long tail from the side it's a beautiful beautiful looking car it's like a timeless design and it's also a hybrid with more than 1000 horsepower and top speed of more than 400 kilometers per hour work of art with all these carbon ending in a very thin line from the top of the top view of the car it looks like a water drop that's how beautiful this is and uh, next to this we have the all new Lamborghini Countach which is the new poster car I would say world poster cars which back in those days you had the old Countach but now there is something for the new generation and that they didn't let the name die. This is one of 112. This is also a hybrid after the Sian. It's also one of the most powerful cars. I think the second most powerful car after the Sian. And, uh, and back to Veneno. <laughs> back to the Veneno. <laughs> and behind you also we have the Mercedes SLR McLaren Sterling Moss when two of the big people combined together to make a masterpiece, the SLR Sterling Moss, a tribute to Sir Sterling Moss. They only made 100 and, uh, they only made 75 pieces of these. This is in immaculate condition, brand new, beautiful looking car. I think this was the, I could say this is the father for like the Monza, Ferrari Monza, McLaren Elva, and all these new speeds that are coming up. This is it. This is the main one. We'll go there and let's go to the middle where we have also have quite a few collections. this SL65 Black Series. The most interesting part is it's the Brothers, tuned by Brothers. There's only one in the world. This is called the Stealth 65 and it is a very powerful car. Plays with you all over the world. And so it's only one? There's only one done by Brothers. You can see the name here, Stealth 65. Brabus logo and it's SL Black SL65 Black Series normally, which is also limited. Plus, Brabus had to punch in more, make it even more exclusive. <laughs> and right next to that, we have a timeless piece of machine, the SLR 722S, limited to only 150 pieces. As you know, this is this car is never gonna die. This is just gonna be holding its value for a very long time and the design is just, you know, we still haven't matched any car with this design so far. And uh, next to that, we have the GT Black Series, which is the most powerful Mercedes Black Series. And it's also limited to only 1,700 of them. And comes with this Magma Beam Orange, a special color, which is the launch spec. and. Uh, the most impressive thing on this car, I would say, massive thing producing, uh, I think, around 800 kilograms of downforce, which is greatly attached to the chassis. So, you know, it's a very strong machine. On the track, it's very strong. Also, with the carbon diffuser, carbon spoilers, carbon automatically adjustable rear spoiler as well for extra downforce, and also the carbon road roll cages. We have two identical ones, and uh, behind you, we have the future. La Ferrari Paradise. Huh? La Ferrari Paradise. <laughs> or Ferrari Paradise. Yes, yeah, it is. So this is the future. The oh, there's no La Ferrari here. La Ferrari is over there. <laughs> so this is the future of Ferrari, the hybrid ever. This is the SF90, the first ever hybrid vehicle from Ferrari. And the most interesting is, it's almost a thousand horsepower, which is all close as the Ferrari La Ferrari. And in 
It's very fast, 0 to 16, almost 2.5 seconds, 2.4 seconds, which is pretty fast for a, for a 2 million, one dollars car. That's pretty quick. And this is the future. Yeah, as you can see, it's being charged. It also comes with a 4 liter V8 twin turbo charged. So combined together, you have almost 989 horsepower. And next to this beauty, we also have another future coming back. The Ferrari is bringing back the V6. This is the 296 GTB, also a hybrid. Very comfortable car, beautiful car, and also powerful as well. V6 with a hybrid motor, more than 815 horsepower combined. And uh, behind that, let's go to the past. Let's go, let's go to, to the past. Over here we have some beauties, 430 Scuderia, we have the 16M Scuderia, limited version, and we have the 458 Speciale Aperta, and right next to that we have the first ever Testa Rosa. Beautiful, beautiful line up here, you know. So this is like, this is the past, this is the present and future. And behind you also we have an interesting one hiding here. A very beautiful sounding car, the 360 Challenge Stradale. It's one of the best sounding Ferraris in my opinion. One of the best, not the best, one of the best. And also in front of that we also have the new era of Maserati. In-house built engine, the V6, 630 horsepower, the MC20. So they brought back the name MC, but MC20, the all-new V6 engine. It's a beautiful looking car as well. So also Maserati is refreshing their lineup. So this is what the similar, mo the other models will similarly look like. So I think that is it. We have. In Thank our you, Roland. Pleasure <laughs> having you here. And the best showroom in the world.